Hello to the person who's watching. Thank you for joining me. We're doing the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. And uh, we're about to start on Sabin Scenario. In the last part, I did the start of the game all the way up to the first two scenarios. Um, Terra's and then Locks. And now I'm going to start with this. Okay, so we're starting out here. This is where we washed up. We get to meet Shadow. And he actually gets to tag around with us for a while. Yep, uh, Shadow can just ditch at any time, like he says. And then there's a few parts that if you go there, he's scripted to leave the party. And he's very dramatic. Okay, so there's a merchant here. And he sells stuff that uh, Shadow can use. Mainly these. We're gonna fill up on those because those are the best weapon for Shadow right now. These are okay, but um, the Shuriken is much better. Let's see, you can go in here, and there's this guy. Who you can have a conversation with. Doesn't really go anywhere. It's more of a bonus scene than anything else. But he does tie in later to the game. And plus you can hear the quote unquote goofy music playing in the background. So you know this is a comedy scene. And this guy is absolutely riddled with dementia. Okay, fire is hot. It's good to know. Okay, he has another hint as to uh, what's going on. Okay, we just leave. All right. Well, let's head on out. Well, the first thing we do is we just got to get across here. Now we're dealing with evil bunnies. We can just have shadow attack for right now. And I love the fact that you can fast forward the fights in the Pixel Remasters. And when you fast forward the fights in the Pixel Remasters, it remembers everything, even the Blitz things that you usually have to do a command for. Is this the right way? Nope. Let's try again. And it remembers from battle to battle what you were doing, too. So you see right there, that's a special ability that Shadow has. If he... If Interceptor, his dog, blocks an attack, it'll do 
it has a chance to do a move called takedown, which causes a lot of damage. As sort of like a uh, revenge attack. Yep, here we go. This is the way to go. Because I'm trying to go here. Okay, so we got two soldiers here. Talking about how uh, Kefka is here. And they don't like him very much. And there he is. I like his sprite and the pixel remaster. It's a lot more colorful. Yes, what could be wrong with that guy? Yep, so they banter around for a bit. And now we get to meet a new character. Okay, so there's Doma Castle. And that's them charging the castle. Not very effective, but I guess they're doing what they can. To the person who's watching, I'm curious. Are you familiar at all with Final Fantasy VI? Give me one moment. There we go. So Cyan decides to go out and meet the captain. So they did a real overhaul of Cyan's Bushido ability in this game. Instead of you waiting for a meter to charge, you pick the thing and it charges in the background so that way other people can attack as well. So you can pick and he does it on his own. Now you just gotta wait for him to attack. And he does the counter-attack. Yeah, this way other people can attack as well, so it makes things a lot easier. Okay, 
Okay, so... Like they said, the captain's down, everybody runs. And like usual people, when the castle's being sieged, they just seal up in the castle. And let the people invading tucker themselves out. Okay, so now we're here. Doggy. Okay, we're gonna sneak in here. And we're gonna hit it. Okay, so I'm guessing we're behind the chest. And the soldier actually falls for that. Not the best and brightest in the Empire, I say. And for that, we get a star pendant. Not spectacular, but hey, it's something. Speaking of something. Just got a relic for him. There it is. Yeah, we're definitely going to put that on Sabin. Okay. Alright, we're just going to put these on Shadow because they're not... Uh, due to the fact that he can leave at any time, you don't want to put anything too good on him. Because if he leaves, there goes a bunch of good stuff that you might have put on him. So I'm just going to throw those two... Uh, things on it that prevent poison and petrification. Okay, and there's General Leo, who has the correct skin color in this game. He's supposed to be African American, but um, in the original game, his sprite was uh, white like everybody else, but I see they fixed that finally. So the guy's talking about Storm in the Castle now. And Leo's just telling him to slow his roll and wait. No, giving some character development. Showing some character background for General Leo. That he's the complete and total opposite of Kefka. Yeah, so he doesn't want the soldiers to just be mindless soldier robots. He wants them to consider themselves people first. Okay, but unfortunately there's a message for General Leo. And he has to leave. So, uh, General Leo has a fan. And we don't get to advance too far. Yeah, so Kefka lays out his plan. Just poison everything. I mean, that would be the most effective way to do it. Yeah, no, no war crimes, Kafka.
Okay, so he's getting ready for it. <laughs> oh, that Kafka. And then, of course, we just jump out. And we actually fight him. This doesn't last long. Yeah, he, he turns tail at the first time you actually hit him. And you're going to see that dialogue repeated a couple times. Because you got to go after him. And I fight him again. It's the same thing. Let's fast forward through that. There's Yowch, Kefka Wait. Do I look like a waiter? Okay, so he runs, but before I go forward, let's uh, heal quick. Because we are going to be fighting something a little more robust this time. Okay, so blitz. Pummel, and then throw. Shuriken there. And now we just go for it. Just let it go on its own. There we go. And since those are technically boss characters, there's no experience. Hey! Hello! Oh, perfect name for the, uh, game we're playing. Punk Moogle. Welcome. So, as you can see, we're in, uh, the three scenario part of the game. We're in the middle of saving scenario. Uh, in part one, I did Terra and... Uh, lock scenario already, so we're just doing this one. So you get to see how fast acting that poison is. So when they figure it out, there you go. Put two and two together. So they're just going to run on through. Because they were nice enough to put a run button in here. Whoops, sorry, I skipped that. He was just saying go to the throne room. Cyan is pretty old. 
if uh, he's been doing it for that long. Although you don't really know how old the king is. He doesn't look, from the back, he doesn't look like an old guy. So, king's dead. Okay, uh, you can go all over the castle, but the only place you need to search is right here. And this is something you would never expect to see in a Super Nintendo game. Friggin' dead kid. There you go. So, of course, Cyan loses his shit, as one would expect when dealing with this kind of a situation. And we just rejoin uh, Saban and Shadow. So you can walk right up. You can also get in between them and get yourself hit. Oh, I guess not. I guess they fixed that. That kind of sucks, because that was funny. Oh, there we go. No, you approach from the side. So we can just attack these guys. They're not that spectacular. And Cyan controls himself. He's pretty much on autopilot for these next couple of fights. Well, first things first. Top off our health. So this is number two. Okay, and yeah, since these are technically boss characters, there's no experience. Because in Final Fantasy VI, you don't get any experience for fighting bosses. You get something else, but that'll pop up later. Okay, so even though there's an officer there, we can just still attack and get through fine. Yeah, it's no big deal. Okay, so now, Cyan officially joins us.
So you just, uh, they're just gonna steal these Magitek armors and bust out that way. You just run them soldiers over. Okay, so now we're in one ourselves. So we get to do Magitek armor again like we did in the beginning of the game. Except we don't get any of the special abilities that Terra had with hers. It's just the three beams and healing. And since technically you're fighting machines as well, you're going to want to do Thunder Beam. Because they're weak to that. I'm just going to let this one go. There we go. Takes care of that. Getting some high potions too, that's good, because I'm almost out of regular potions. No preemptive strike, so we won already. Okay, and there we go. See if I can get out this way. Yep. Okay, so we abandon the cool walking armors for some reason. And now we're on the other side. I believe if you go in there, uh, Shadow leaves the party, so I'm not going to go there. But I do want to get into a fight here, because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these cats here. And I want to fight them specifically because later, when I get a new character, the cats will give that character a very good ability. Alright, so let's save. Let me see something. Whoop. Don't want to do that. No, stop. Okay, let's sort. Okay, I do have a tent. Good. I'm going to take a tent, and then I'm going to save, and then we'll keep going. Okay, so now we're in the Phantom Forest. Okay, as Sabin, you're gonna want to aura cannon everything in here. Because it counts as holy damage, and everything in this forest is weak against it. So you can go up here. And there's a recovery spring. So this is a good place to level up if you feel like you need to grind out a bit. I think we're good for now. Let me just go down here. Go 
go ahead and attack these guys. There we go. And now you just go up here. Because if you go down, you'll end up back in the beginning of the forest and you'll end up going in a circle. And now we're here. So now we're just going to ride the twain. And we can see Saban's not a good listener. And also, Cyan's not good at finishing his thought. So yes, this is the Phantom Train, which would show up in later games. Okay, now we're stuck on the train. Yep, the final death, the most final of final destinations. Yeah, he's got he's got shit to do. Wow, one step, huh? Okay then. Okay, uh most of these ghosts, if you talk to them, will trigger a fight. So don't even bother. Just keep going. Unless you feel you really need the experience. There we go. Hmm, that takes care of them. So yeah, like I said earlier, uh, Saban's Aura Cannon is the best for this area. Because everything's undead and everything is weak to it. Got to weave through here. Just head on this one. Is this the one where... I think this is the one where if you go in, you have to fight your way back out. Yep. So we're just going to do this. I'm not going to bother walking all the way to the other end. When I already know that there's nothing here. Ooh, Shadow's about to die. I better uh, heal him up when the fight's over. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I'll take care of that when the fight's over. Okay, any time. There you go. Okay. Is it gonna let nope, I gotta wait. I gotta wait for this slow ass scene to go through. Yep, 
Yep, they just keep coming. They just keep on coming and they don't stop coming. You gotta climb up here to keep the scene going. Although I guess in that moment I could have stopped and uh, brought Shadow back to life, but uh, he's fine. He's not going anywhere. There we go. Do I even have a? Yes, I do. Good. Potion up. Probably should have bought more. Oh well. I walk to the end. And this gets the uh, rest of the scene going. So, so his plan is for Cyan to say, he's like, here, grab on me and we're just going to go. Okay, so they're still coming, so we have to take care of that, otherwise they're going to keep coming at us. So, we detached the cars, so have fun in limbo, jackasses. No afterlife for you. Okay, we're gonna save. Though I could have just uh, used the 10 here, but that's alright. I forgot there was a save point there. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. Here, I want to get him throwing shuriken. There we go. Yeah, so we just keep going. This train is a one-way road here. Okay, uh, this is a thing where you can get healed up. So this is the dining car. And Sabin doesn't care that this is a ghost train, he wants food. Okay, so he makes gross eating noises. And that gives you a good, really good healing. But let's try something. Oh, can I not? Have anybody except uh, Saban be in front? Oh, there we go. Let's see, what does Shadow have to say about the ghost food? If anything. Now he's gonna feed his doggy. Okay, he makes the same obscene eating noises.
Okay, and one more. What do you have to say about the food, Cyan? Okay, he just says the same thing. Okay. Okay, let's switch them back. Let's get saving back in front. We're gonna take on these guys again. Uh, gravity as a spell, it'll never actually kill you. All it does is uh, take uh, chunks of your health off. Usually by like a half or a half. So, it can never actually kill you. It can only take half of your health away. Okay, another earring, which is good, because now there's a pair. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, who could that be? Okay, so, uh, this guy shows up. And if you'll notice, people really don't acknowledge Shadow because there's a chance that he could have left your party by now. Or there's even a chance that you wouldn't have recruited him at all in the first place. I don't think you have to, but, um, you know, it's good to have a third party member around for this part. Okay, so they have boss music for them, but, I mean, you'll see what happens. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much all talk. Yep, taken down by Interceptor. And he just ends up stealing what was in the treasure chest anyway. What was in it? Who knows? But we can go in here and get something. Get a free tent. Those are always good to have. Let's see. I don't think there's anything in here. Yes, I do want to stop the train. And that doesn't help, thanks. Okay, here we go. Phoenix down. Sniper eye, that's a good relic. Another phoenix down. And a monster. Good thing Interceptor blocked that lightning. Whoop. Yeah, that's no... That's no joke. There we go. Ah, and we got the Hyper Wrist for that. So, let's uh, pop on into the equipment. So let's see. 
We got the sniper eye, so basically your physical attacks never miss. And the hyperist boost strength, so hell yeah, we're gonna put that on saving. And do an X potion. I'll use up these regular potions first before I start doing the high potions. We're almost done with the train anyway. In fact, I think this is the front of the train right here. Yeah. Okay, so save just in case something happens. And here we go. Okay, let's just kill these guys off. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, that takes care of that. I'm gonna go in. And yeah, you can search all around, but... It'll tell you the way to stop it, but it's right here, I believe. Oh well, all you have to do is throw that switch, throw that switch. And then go right here. But before we do that, let's get him topped off. Okay, and now it's time. So, the train's not too pleased that we've been dicking around on it. Yes. It's time. As soon as Saban gets a chance to go. There we go. We've suplexed the train. And now, we're going to kill it instantly. <laughs> there we go. The train has been suplexed. And hey, Pathy. Nice to see you. So we're off the train. And of course, there's some new passengers getting on. Yep, sure was. I'm gonna knock his ass out of the way. Okay, this these text boxes go on their own, so I'm not controlling it.
Okay, what do you have to say about that? Okay, and what do you have to say about that? Okay. Yes, thank you. Alright, so we're out of there. Let's see. Tent up. Because this next part is a pain in the butt. Okay, we just gotta walk around here. I just gotta get through this uh, little cave here. There, see how small that was? Yep, you gotta jump. It's like Butch, Dan Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Yeah, and Shadow's water soluble, so he's not gonna stick around anymore. And yeah, he's automatically scripted to leave. There's no way to keep him at this point. Sure, why not? And now we get to punch fish in the face. Man, we're just gonna let this go for a bit. Whoops. I don't want to do that. I just wasted a phoenix down. <laughs> There, that should fix it. There we go. Now let's uh, do the thing here. So yeah, you, there's just a bunch of fish and then eventually you get to the uh, boss. I forget how many fish you go through, but it's a bunch. But they don't really pose that much of a threat. There he is. We're gonna do sky on there. And we're just gonna keep pummeling him. So now if he hits Cyan, Cyan will counterattack for a lot of damage. Nope, oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess we'll just stick with Fang then. There we go. It's one dead fish. Okay, another potion, that's good. And here we are at the Velt. Well, they've made Cyan better to use in this Pixel Remaster. Perhaps they can make this new character better to use. Because otherwise, he really sucks. Yep, it's Gal. <laughs> it's Gal and I hate him. It's not that he's a absolutely terrible character. <clears throat> 
It's just that if you want to try to get all of his rage abilities, good lord, it takes forever. And I see him in the red over there. Oh, there we go. Okay, I should be back. So, uh, the Velt is special. It's a special area. Every monster you fought is in here after you fight them. And then occasionally Gal pops up. Unfortunately, I don't have anything for him. So, we're just gonna... Oh, okay, we can't run away. Hopefully, he just leaves. Because I don't feel like hitting him. Oh, God. Here, eat this. Alright, get lost. There we go. Okay, so the way the Velt works is basically, like I said before, every monster you fought shows up there. And uh, you basically use it for Gao to train his abilities up. Because you don't get any experience points for fighting on the Velt. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. We're gonna buy one dried meat. Let's top off our potions. Grab a couple more tents. Because I gotta see what weapons and armor they got here. Okay, hey, what you got? Okay. Sucky knife. Crappy sword. Okay, I'll take those. And we'll take that. And the nice thing is uh, you can equip right from here, so... You don't have to worry about exiting the shop and then going back again. Okay, let's see, where are they? Okay, get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay, let's check out the armor. Okay. So we'll get two shields. Let's see. Alright. Wow, it's a lot of iron helms. I don't have enough for everybody. Okay. So, we'll do two of these. Two of those. Do a bandana. Two hats. And we'll get a heavy shield here. Go to optimal. Boom. There we go. Sort everything. Because now we're going to sell all the crap we don't need. Yeah, basically everything that's blacked out here, that's what's already equipped to everybody. So you don't have to worry about accidentally selling it. So let's start getting rid of some of this stuff. Get rid of the sword. Did I just buy this? No. Rid of that, because we ain't gonna see Shadow for a while. 
Those I did just buy, I believe. Yeah, I got more than enough of these hats. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go grab a gal. So I'm gonna start heading south because we gotta go there anyway. Okay, so let's just kill these guys. And then I am gonna stick around on the Velt a little bit. Because there's one specific rage I want Gao to get. And sometimes he doesn't show up. Because he has to be absolutely annoying. Okay, let's just get rid of these guys. Uh, the art style. Basically, they t they call it a pixel remaster because it's basically the same sprites from the original SNES game, just touched up into HD and made a little bit more colorful, and you can see the palettes a lot brighter as well. Now, if they really wanted to make it look spectacular, they could have uh, done this like they're going to do with the Live Alive uh, remaster and do it in that Octopath Traveler style 2D HD as they call it, but I like this better. <laughs> wow, I'm getting my ass kicked. I need to pay more attention. <laughs> But yeah, it's the, it's the art style is why they call it the Pixel Remaster. Come on, Gal, where are you, little bastard? I ain't got all night to screw around here on the Velt. Let's see, where is he? Because I can't progress without him. There we go. Oh, God. Sometimes you run into stuff like this where it might take a while. Oh, he's definitely not going to come out because of this. And a lot of these fights you can't run away from either. So you're stuck fighting them. Yeah, if you get in a back attack, surrounded, or a pincer attack, Gal won't show up either. It has to be just normal, straight-on, regular fight. Like this. And these are the enemies that I want to use Gal with, but he's not here, so... Now it's gonna take even longer. take care of that problem. 
There we go. Hey, a ghost. There he is. Took him long enough. Okay, so what you do is you wait for item to pop up because he's bitching about being hungry. And we give him some dried meat and then he joins. <coughs> And now we got to go through this scene. Yeah, he wants more food. Now, I'm going to point this out later. Uh, as you can see how Gao is talking now. Um, later, I'm going to point out if they still do it this way. Because in the original, he goes from speaking sentences like this to just making noises by the end of the game. So, we'll see if they keep that in this uh, remaster. Okay, so that's them fighting. Yes. It's one of the reasons why I don't like him very much. And plus, if you want to get all of his rage abilities, I think I said this before, it takes forever. I see I keep going red with my uh, frame, so might look a little might look a little shaky, but uh, I'm still going. Okay, it's just repetitious. No, you slid backwards. That's quite a trick. Okay, so now we're getting to the crux of why we're bringing him along, this little gremlin child. Oh yes, they go on and on about his shiny thing. And eventually we will get in tr gain control of the characters again to further the story forward. But uh, this, this scenario is almost over. And then of course I need to hang out here because I want to get the Stray Cat Rage for Gao. Because it's one of his best ones to get early in the game. Yep, the mountain that we've been 
walking around. Ugh, you have no idea. Okay. And instead of a Moogle uh, telling us, explaining what's going on, we have a Kappa this time. So this is the lowdown on how Gal works. Yeah, he jumps into a group of enemies, eventually he shows back up, and he learns their abilities. So I wonder, in the original version, uh, Gal, when he uses a rage, he becomes unable to get controlled. So I wonder if they keep that. Yeah, he's talented, it's just... it's very It takes a very long time if you want to get everything. And there's only like five or six rages that are actually really good. Like, I'm not gonna bother getting these. Right, let's see. Because he comes with some already uh, equipped. And they do give him buffs when he uses them. Okay, so he's still uh, completely out of control. That's fine, though. So as you can see, like I was saying earlier, gravity can't kill you. It can only keep having your HP. Okay. Gonna use a tent quick. And I'm also going to uh, equip Gal. See what I have that I can put on him. Because he'll never use a weapon. But, he does use armor and relics. Let's save quick, because it's been a while. No, not these. Let's try this one, see what that does. There we go. It's not too bad. Okay, let's see if the cats come up next. That's what I'm waiting for. Ugh, god damn it. Let's see what this one does. And Gao's almost dead yet again. Okay, come on, let's get this show on the road here. Mm. How the hell with it? Let's jump into these guys. 
Yeah, so as soon as you leap, it ends the battle. Now watch, the cats are probably going to be the next one and you won't show up again. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and there he is. Now, you don't need to give him dried meat again, just don't attack him, and eventually he'll uh, come back, and the battle will end. Just make sure you don't hit him, because if you hit him now, you'll have to get dried meat again in order to lure him back. Ugh. Well, let's see what uh, new stuff we got. Takes care of them. Uh. Oh, that's not too bad of an ability. Turn him into stone, kill him instantly. Okay. Cause I'm not I'm not leaving without that stray cat rage. because it really helps out in the next section. Okay, so Sabin's been stopped. Luckily, stopped isn't a permanent status ailment. It wears off after a while. And you can see sometimes if a status ailment hits Gao while he's raged, it'll carry over into the uh, next fight.
Okay, hopefully they're coming up soon. Because I wanted to try to get to the end of what I call Act 1 on this stream. Which is when they do the fight for the frozen Esper. save so I don't lose anything there we go okay you two are defending and you're jumping there now I just gotta get into fights until he comes back and we're good to go That's a new one. I never saw them do that before. I hope it doesn't take like 20 battles for him to come back now. say because I know he ain't coming back for this one so let's see if we can leg it there we go Start clearing these guys out. There he is. Okay, finally. Okay. All right. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to take a um I'll take like a six minute break to stretch and get some water. So uh, we're going to let that, actually we're not going to let the Velt music play, you've heard it long enough. We're going to listen to the sounds of a waterfall. So let's see, it's 625, I'll be back around 630, 631. So, uh, we'll be right back.
All right, we're back. And uh, let's get the show on the road. So now we gotta search around here to figure out oh, what the hell he's talking about. So you can uh, walk around here and you get a few scenes, which I'm gonna do because you don't get uh, into fights or anything in here. So you can like check certain places and uh, see little scenes will happen. It's just Gal kind of being a jerk, playing pranks. You don't actually lose money. <laughs> So you don't have to worry about that. It's just a joke. See anything over here? No. And then this is where the this is where we move the story forward. And there's the shiny treasure. Which is something that we just happen to need to do right now. Yes. So, do you think that they each have one? Or do you think the three of them all crammed their heads into that one tiny uh, helmet? I like to think they all crammed their heads into the, si into the same helmet. Exactly. Okay, no chance to heal because this entire part is automated. Much like the uh, river raft you went through, uh, this part is automatic and you have to go through several fights. And these things don't mess around. Now, the reason why I wanted the stray cat rage so much is because it has a good physical attack. And it also has a chance to do a move called cat scratch, which does eight times normal damage. Now, whenever it gives you a choice, always go to the right because you can go into little rooms that will give you treasure and give you a chance to heal. Yeah, see, you used it right there. And he used it again. So it comes up more often than you would think. Okay, so eventually it should hit a dead. There we go. So 
there's an X potion in there. And before we leave, gives you a chance to heal. Otherwise, you'd have to go through the entire thing in one shot. Let me make sure everybody's equipment is good. Okay. This area isn't as long as the river raft with Bannon, though. And you don't have to worry about one person getting killed and it being an automatic game over. There you go, so we're going to keep to the right. Back when this was on the SNES, this was another uh, use of that fancy Mode 7 that the SNES touted so much. See anything down here? No. Go down here to hit the switch. See, whoop. Nah, they're fine. Okay, one last treasure, a really good piece of equipment. Gonna throw that on Sabin. And now we can head out, and we're almost done. I think there's just like one or two more fights. Or there's none more fights. Okay, so this washes up us up in the town of Nikia. And this is another place where you can shop. Yes, it is always a good thing to have none more fights. So is there anything hidden in these boxes? Okay, and there's just a big open air market here. Okay, so we don't need any of that. I am going to look at the armor though. Because we still need to uh, armor up some people. Because we're about to be using everybody. Well, let's see. Defense, magic, defense. Yeah, we'll stick with this. So, the two of those. Okay, we'll grab an iron helm for locking them. Okay, get the silk robe. Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so I should be good. All right, so we should be good with that. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, thing. Okay, we're gonna blow everything on high potions. So what are you up to, kid? All right, what are you selling? Ah, he's selling relics. Let's see. And eh, nothing I need really. Okay, so now we get on the boat over here, and that should be the end of the uh, scenario.
No, shut up, gal. Okay, now everyone's meeting up, and it's time to end what I call Act 1 of the game. And that means we have to deal with Bannon again. And they're still trying to convince uh, Narsh to join with the Returners. Because everybody's gunning for that Esper that we found at the beginning of the game. More likely than you think. <laughs> They're not. Yes, yeah, so now here's everybody meeting up. And showing off the new friends that they've acquired throughout their journey. They sure did. Yes, quick to point out that it was Kefka who poisoned them, not the Empire. Yeah. And here they are. Seems like a lifetime ago since we last saw them. Yeah, I would have streamed this on Friday like I was supposed to, but stuff happened, and then stuff happened again, and today was the first day I was able to free up to finally do this. And then Locke spills the beans on Celeste. Yeah. <laughs> so now Cyan gets his rage on. Although she did single-handedly take out an entire town. Yep, and Locke's not gonna budge on that. Yeah, Edgar alludes to something that we'll learn about later, but it's the reason why Locke is so protective of Terra and Celeste, especially Celeste. Nando Desca. Yes, the true the true heart of the uh, argument right here. Not everyone in the Empire is evil. Just the most important ones are.
Yep, and here we go. The cat's out of the bag now. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Oh, I see they kept that line in. All right. So this is exactly like the battle that was in the beginning of the game with the Moogles, except you're splitting up everybody into three parties. Okay, so we get some uh, more dialogue from them. <laughs> I love Celeste's line. Get some little character moments as they get ready to defend the Esper. Yep. Always. So now we see that Celeste was artificially infused with magic, not born with it naturally like Terra was. And Terra could have phrased that question better. Yeah, these two get some barbs in. And here we go. Oh, wow. Well, that's certainly new. They added a full uh, HP and MP refill bucket here. That was never there before in the SNES version. Okay, so let's save here. And now we got to equip everyone. Yeah. Although, it's not really that necessary because if you do get a game over, you still, if you get a game over here, you still keep all the experience you've gained. So if you really keep at it for a long while, eventually you'll get through it, but that does speed things up a lot. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to each person individually, giving them the best uh, armor I can give them since I spent all that money in those shops just to make sure everybody has the best equipment mainly because we're not going to be able to split people up into even teams all right Terra, we're gonna save again. Now that everybody's equipped. And now we talk to Bannon, and that gets this show on the road. Now I'm ready as I'll ever be. So, yep. No, I'm good. Alright, so now we need to split 
into three parties. So we're going to have these two together. We're going to have Celeste. Let me see their levels. 12, 11, 12, 13, 13. All right. No, not you. You. Okay, and Gal, you go over there in the corner. Alright, so uh, we're going to split this up a little bit. We're not going to worry about the other two groups because we're going to take our group of four and steamroll as many people as we can to get down to the bottom. Because there is a shitload of people that you got to deal with. Okay, you go here, you go there, actually you go there first, now you go there, and we're just going to start heading down. Okay, we're going to be using the Bio Blaster a lot because a lot of these people are weak to poison because they're humans technically all right let's just surge on through I'm also going to make sure to keep everybody's health topped off as we barrel down towards the bottom. Okay, we got some level ups, good. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I'll probably switch out from the Bio Blaster. Because we're going to start dealing with machines now. Okay, saving leveled up. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay, let's heal again. Okay, I wanted to try to slip past this guy, but I didn't make it. Okay, we're going to stick with the auto crossbow for this one. Okay, let's see if this goes well. Because once this guy dies, I can go right to Kefka. And then once Kefka's done, that's it. Gotcha. Okay, let's see how this goes. And I just realized I did Runic and Cure at the same time. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna have to cure everyone.
Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, thank God that missed. Confuse is the worst status effect you can get in this game. Let's see if he stays up long enough for me to capitalize on that. I think I got it. We'll see what happens. Oh shit. Alright. That's gonna be a problem. Although, at least it was her and not like Saban. Because Saban Confused can really fuck your party up. Oh, got him. Sweet. There, eat shit, Kefka. Hey, there it is. Yep, still alive, even though it's frozen solid in there. Hey, now we're having a replay of what happened at the start of the game. Except a little bit different. So we get the side view again. Okay, she wants answers now. And she's about to get them. Yeah, Edgar's the practical one. He's like, get the hell away from there. But it's too late. And she's transformed, she spazzes out, and she's out of here. And there she go. And she doesn't even know where the hell she's going. She's just flying. But she does end up somewhere eventually. We don't get to see it though. Yeah, and apparently Locke got knocked out from that, I guess. I don't know.
Okay, where's Terra? That's the main theme of this part of the game. So yes, she looked like an Esper now. So news travels fast apparently because people have already been tracking where she is, although a flying pink naked woman would probably be something that people wouldn't miss too much. Okay, so now we get to choose our party members. Yes, yeah, someone needs to babysit Bannon because he's a giant baby. And see science come around to helping out everybody. By everybody, I mean Terra. Time to form our dream team. We got Locke, the Super Figaro brothers, and Celeste. Uh, Gao and Cyan, you can piss off. Because I ain't need you for the rest of the game so far. Okay, no more elixir in there. I don't care what about what Bandon has to say. So, uh, this is a good place to stop. I've been going for over two hours. And this is where I wanted to end the stream. Basically, the start of Act 2. So, we're gonna save. And thankfully, I didn't have to repeat that part with Kefka too many times. I was worried that I was going to, uh, eat it a few times, but nope, steamrolling worked. So, let's see who's available to raid. Let's see, that one? No. Uh, nah. No. Yes, thank you. Let's see. Voxandra. Here we go. Hold on a second. I hit a wrong button. Oh, and you're welcome. Thank you for watching the stream. I really appreciate it. Alright. So, we are going to raid Voxandra. She's another VTuber, and she's really cool. It looks like she's playing Mega Man 4 right now for the NES. So uh, we're gonna go over there and have some fun. Watch her play. Watch her play games now. <laughs> <laughs> 